What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubbaville Bassin. I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Bubba Bass. Check out his channel. He's got some awesome content. Give him a thumbs up and subscribe. And like all his videos. He has a really good channel. But um, I wanted to start off today by saying uh, I haven't uploaded in about a week. Because I haven't been able to go fishing. Well, it's not that I haven't been able to go fishing. It's that... My battery hasn't lasted and I got a package coming in the mail today uh, from Amazon. I ordered four batteries, the charger, um, a mic, a carrying case, a new SD card, and a tripod. need all that stuff when I'm going out. I'm actually going out this Sunday with my buddy over in Dragon Run down in Middlesex here. Um, but I, yeah, I was going to uh, go over my baits, my tackle, what I use, and all that stuff so all right, I'm gonna start out with my ducket rod it's a, a ghost rod it's a 6.9 medium heavy I got it paired with a loose speed spool T300 on a 10 pound power pro braid it's got the diameter of a two pound test I got my curl tail it's June bug I made myself on a 3 yacht Gamagatsu hook with a 1 16th ounce weight I got my Ducket Micro Magic. I believe this rod was $160. It's got the micro guides. I got my loose speed spool. It's a 7 5 to 1 gear ratio. I believe it's the second fast for this series. I believe that was like a I believe that was like $100 as well. I got my cherry wood made by Berkeley. It's a good rod for $20. You can't find good quality rods anymore for $20 just because they're all junk. I got my Bionix Pro Shop Series. I believe that was like a $6 reel. It's alright for what it's doing. I want to replace everything and go to Duckets eventually. Just because I love that brand and that brand's awesome. I got this Browning Mini Reel. This is like my 13th Mini Reel for this pole. This is the very first pole I've ever bought for Fraser Mitchell. I bought this whole combo setup probably when I was like 13. Um, this rod has caught like over 3,000 fish and I'm not even kidding and I got a grub tied on it alright guys so we're going to go over to my tackle boxes I use Gamagatsu hooks these are the 4 out ones I use for my Senkos got my 3 outs I use for any other type of small plastics on my uh, bait caster with the 50 pound braid power per I use 3 16 ounce bullet weights. You need that to get it in some semi tough grass. I also got a 1 4 ounce if the grass is kind of heavy and the wind's blowing really well. I got my braid scissors. Got some 1 1 8 ounce weights. Maybe for the mini pole. I mean not the mini pole. The uh, ducket ghost rod if I need you know more weight. Also I got some 1 16 ounce black uh, Bass Pro Shops weights. Also, I wanted to get into my custom-made Cinco's by uh, Bubbaville Baits. I got this Midnight Blue Cinco with uh, Silver Flake in it. These things are awesome. Also, I got these Ghost White Cinco's. Caught a few fish off of them. Got my Christmas Tree Cinco's. Got my High Voltage Cinco's. Love these things. I made like a 20 pack just because I used so many of them. I got my uh, American Patriotic colored ones. It's like a blue with a silver and red flake in them. And then I got my June Bug. These are my favorite go-to baits right here because June Bug's the key down here in Virginia. I got some black ribbon tails I've made. Those things catch a lot of stuff as well. Got the high voltage uh, ribbon tails. I got my coffee melon. Um, Cinco's are coffee scented with, uh, I believe it's watermelon colored with uh, silver flake in them. I got my candy green Cinco's. Got my salt and pepper Cinco's. Black with uh, silver flake. Then I'm going to go to my other baits here. Go to my, go -to, my other go-to baits in this box. 
Got my Bass Pro Shops XBS Speed Shad. I think that's a 4.5. I use the belly weighted Gamagatsu hook. I believe it's a 3 aught with a 1 16th ounce weight with the, the screw lock so you can put the head of the bait in there. I use my Project Z chatter bait. It's like a modified swim jig with the weed guard with also an XBS Speed Shad. I believe that's a 3.5 on the back. Also, I got this other uh, chatter bait. It's the same Project Z with the weed guard. My go-to buzz bait, as you can see, a uh, bowfin got a hold of it. It's made by Boy Duckett. I use a, uh, I believe that's a Strike King trailer hook on the back. Live target frog. Haven't caught anything off of it yet. I'm planning on it. Now I use Screwy Louie Lures jigs. This guy hand makes them. Hand pours the plastics. Great jigs. It's black and blue. You always need a black and blue in your box. As well, I got a June bug. That's also a hot color down here. I got the live target, uh, the live target bluegill. Same thing as a frog, except you can hop it around. But all right, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in the last week after that one good bass video I made. Um, Remember, I'm trying to give a shout out to Bubba Bass over in Arizona. Check out his channel. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe my channel as well. I'm trying to give you all the best content that I can do. Because I wish I had a GoPro two or three years ago. Because I've been catching so many good fish. And also, I subscribe to Mystery Tackle Box Pro. I uh, bought it for $25. And each month it sends, you, sends it to you in the mail. Um, I probably get around forty to fifty dollars worth of baits in this thing. It's a great deal for twenty-five dollars. And here's some of the baits that I actually got in it. I got this uh, big swim bait made by Boom Boom. It's like a huge swim bait. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch anything down here with that. Came with the big nine-aught belly weighted hooks, and it came with uh, Bruiser Baits uh, crawls. It's like a a June bug and a green pumpkin with like purple flake in them. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Mon uh, no, not Monday. Sunday, I'm supposed to be doing a fishing video with my buddy. So hopefully that turns out good. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.